What we know right now is that the pharmaceutical stocks in India are shining in the market rally. It's red versus blue in the US. Markets are in the green back home in India. Bitcoin jumps to an all-time high is what we know. We're going to go straight across to business today. Sakshi Batra for more details on that. You know, Sakshi, just put this into perspective. What explains the pharmaceutical stocks doing so well today? The markets are in the green as leads show that Trump, in fact, is doing pretty well in most of the states, isn't it? Absolutely, Sneha. So the markets are in the green. A recovery had started just yesterday with the 1,000-point recovery on the Sensex from the lows. And it has further escalated today. There are two key sectors that are driving the show, IT and pharma. And these are both export-oriented sectors. And we know that the markets are already looking at an indication that Trump is leading in most of the key swing states right there. And a victory of Trump would indicate that... Uh, the U.S. economy would be more focused on uh, reduced corporate taxes, uh, pro-business approach and also reduced regulation. Once that happens, a lot of uh, business and money will start moving in. And once that happens, all the export-oriented sectors in India will benefit the most, especially the IT sector. That's the leading sector in the trade today. Two and a half percent uptick on the Nifty IT. Infosys, TCS, HCL Tech are the top movers on the Nifty. Beyond this, across the mid-cap IT space, we are seeing gains of even up to 8 to 10 percent in trade right here. You're actually seeing more business approach and therefore the IT sector is reflecting clearly a Trump victory that could benefit in the Indian sector. So beyond this, we are also looking at uh, the chemical space, the oil and gas space as well. All of those uh, approaches that uh, Trump is going to be taking that would also impact uh, these key sectors as well. Remember, Trump is also going to be impacting the tariffs in China. So all those sectors which could benefit as China plus one strategies in India are also up and shining bright in trade today, including the chemicals, the textile sector, as well as the oil and gas sector as well but the leading ones are clearly the IT and the pharma which have clear benefit once in US we see money flow coming in businesses start to loosen up their purses clients start to spend in projects as well so IT and pharma will be the clear winners right there Sneha. you know what's most exciting right here and is very very interesting is that the internet also Sakshi is calling it the Trump factor with the Bitcoin jumping to an all-time high it's rising to an all-time high just put this into perspective given that Trump is seen as somebody who's Larger, largely more pro Bitcoin than Kamala Harris. This, of course, is the reason why Bitcoin is doing so well. He's also, in fact, pledged to make US a crypto capital, isn't it? Absolutely, Sneha, and not just that. If you look at all the sectors are actually doing well, all the asset classes are doing well, markets are back in action. You also see the bonds that are doing well, along with Bitcoin as well. This is all about how the money flow will start. Something that was earlier anticipated that US economy is going to be looking at a soft landing, recessionary fears were coming in. But now when the business cycle starts, that's when the economy starts to pump money. And that's when most of the asset classes will also get the benefit of it. And then therefore, you also see uh, Bitcoin which has also been on an upward trajectory at an all-time high levels right mm -hmm. now. You know there has been a lot of support for Bitcoin and that's the reason why uh, after the leads in fact show that Trump seems to be leading in many of the key swing states which is extremely important. Bitcoin there is doing pretty well. Sakshi I'm going to leave it at that for the moment thanking you for joining in with those details. Sakshi was telling us about Dalal Street in the green as there is all indication. There are enough indications Trump is doing very well in at least the swing states, which of course are the defining states in the U.S.